Good evening, everyone. Um, can we do a quick audio check and can someone just post in the question log? Can someone please post in the question log if you can hear me? Perfect, thank you so much. Welcome everyone tonight to the all town meeting. Um, a few housekeeping items to start off with. We are recording this meeting tonight for those who are not able to attend. We will be stopping the recording before the open discussion Q&A, and we'll give you a heads up when that section starts and we stop the recording. All attendees are muted. During the open Q&A discussion, you will have the opportunity to virtually raise your hand if you would like to be unmuted to ask a question. Throughout the meeting tonight, you may use the question log as well to ask your burning questions. We do have staff managing this log as, as we go along. Some of these questions may be shared with the entire group tonight if the entire group can benefit from the answer. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, Jessica. Before we get started with our uh, all town meeting, I'm going to quote the Girl Scout promise. Um, and, and that is, on my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. Thank you very much for donating your gift of time tonight to us to go have this virtual all town meeting. So let's just go ahead and get started. We do have a board member present, uh, John McCracken, happy to have him here. Thank but you, Loretta. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's talk about membership. So membership, our goal for, for membership this year is 13,200 total members, that's including girls and adults. The council uh, applied for a grant from AmeriCorps this year and for our outreach girls. And with that grant, they're gonna be responsible for 875 girls. So for our, our girl membership, right now we are at 90% of reaching our goal. Now that's excluding the 875 girls that we're gonna be getting from AmeriCorps. And as far as adults, we are at 88% of our goal. So we are doing very well with our membership. Product uh, program, cookies. Let's talk about cookies. We are doing very well so far with cookies. We have uh, three more weekends to go with booth sales and volunteers, those girls, you guys are doing an outstanding job. We only need seven, thousand more cases to reach our total goal for cookies. Last year, just to show you just how much we have done this year, last year we were short $609,000 of reaching our goal. The girls currently earn 86 cents per box for cookies. However, if they're going to go ahead and stretch their goal, to 220 boxes, they will earn 98 cents a box per box. Now at 98 cents, girls can go on several day camps with this money. It will pay for a half of resident camp. And our older girls, if you're interested in going to the national convention, if you sell 220 boxes of cookies, you only have to pay $85 to go to the national convention. Last year, we focused on our men and women in uniform. And we donated 20,000 boxes of cookies. Right now, we are at 15,000 boxes of cookies. We need to beat last year's numbers. Let's take care of our men and women in uniform and let's give them a taste of home. So let's try to sell, let's try to beat last year's numbers. Now, I know you all are wondering about what's going on with our properties. Oh, properties is next. What's going on with our properties? Well, I'm sure uh, you all have already heard 
that the board of directors made a difficult decision to sell the Mount Vernon office. This action by the board supports the creation of programs that are relevant to girls today. One of the primary goals of this board of directors. The results will, in, will be improvements and enhancements in the delivery of program services to girls. The process of change will not cause a discontinuation or a reduction of services to girls. You know, ever since Juliet Gordon Lowe returned from England back in 1912 and changed the word, word girl guides to girl scouts in response to the preference of American girls, those in the Girl Scout movement, those of us in the Girl Scout movement have the pride, have pride ourselves on the ability to make periodic adjustments to meet the needs of our girls. And that's exactly what this board of directors did. Our financial challenge was to balance the usage uh, of the space while making a mortgage payment. That has taken a significant amount of funds, which we do not have. We appreciate that some reactions to the Mount Vernon office are emotional. And we're sensitive to that. But we remind you that decisions made by our council must be done in the interest of meeting the needs of today's and tomorrow's Girl Scouts. Girls need to have the opportunity to build friendships and learn leadership skills. When Mount Vernon is sold, we will be in a better position to offer even stronger experiences to meet the needs of today's girls. Today, the Girl Scouts is revitalizing the way we serve girls to enable the largest number of girls and volunteers to participate. Now, to achieve this goal, we are making this key change to sell the Mount Vernon office. We will continue to ensure that Girl Scouting is a very full and consistent experience for all of our girls and adults. The Girl Scouts is one option that girls have, but they also have the option of many. The good news is that Girl Scouting offers activities that provide personal growth and leadership development experience. So again, by selling the Mount Vernon office, the council is embarking on an exciting evolution to better meet the needs of girls in today's fast changing world. This decision is important to Girl Scouting because it will ensure that we remain the best leadership development program for girls decades to come. This property will allow us to provide a consistent Girl Scout experience, and that is to build girls of courage, confidence, and character who make our world a better place. Although we are in the process of attempting to weather our financial challenges, the usage of the Mount Vernon office cannot be denied. The Girl Scout organization is very proud of the work that we're doing. And we will continue to work for these girls and these volunteers decades and a hundred more years to come. I also want to stress that we are already doing a whole lot with, with, with what we um, had promised that we would do in uh, this past year. As I stated to you in my email, we were bringing back the staff that you asked for, for your support. We are, uh, are serving few service units. We are returning the highly requested program book, the Compass, back to you. 
We are planning programs that is gonna be in your area. So the Girl Scouts of Southern Illinois is already doing these things. When I met with you, you told me these are some of the things that you want. We are trying to make sure that we are continuing to meet you where you are. As far as the other properties, the board will be making these difficult decisions as they meet on Wednesday, and I will continue to keep you updated on these properties. When I met with you and talked to you about the properties, I promise that we were not going to linger this out for years and years to come. The board is making some great decisions and we are moving at the speed of the girl. Next up is our program. Now with the help of our Google grant, you see in front of you right now, this beautiful STEM mobile. With the help of the Google grant, we have it. And this will allow us to meet you again where you are at. We are very excited about being able to do programs in different areas and travel with our STEM mobile. Now let's talk about retail and shop. Our council shop sales are up this year so far. GSUSA, however, will be increasing the prices of uniform. That's going to be happening starting the 3rd of March. Um, also, our, our uh, council shop was not available on Fridays. We are now open on Fridays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we are also open on the first Saturday of every month from 10 until 2 p.m. Our council truck is always available for events in your areas, Monday through Saturday. Annual meeting. Our annual meeting will be held at Belcourt Manor in Belleville, Illinois on March the 28th. Breakfast will be served there. And by popular demand, the silent auction will be back. The council store will also be available as well to you. Fund development. Our United We Lead Gala will be again at the Regency Conference Center in O'Fallon. The Pearl Society has changed. Some of you have, may have known it as the Juliet Gordon Lowe Society, but it has now changed to the Pearl Society. And the committee, the fund development committee, along with staff, will be deciding new levels for the uh, Pearl Society. And that, as soon as they decide that, will be shared with you as well. Now let's talk about our finances. Upon my arrival to this council, I stress the importance of adult-generated funding. I can I still cannot stress that enough. This year, our deficit is a huge deficit of $740,000. Now, the reason that I stress adult-generated funding is because we cannot depend on just cookies because cookies and product program is 70% of our revenue. Last year, we fell short of our cookie sale of $609,000. Now, although we raised more money than we did the year before in fund development, we still fell short of our fund development goal for our budget of $295,000. This was a result of decrease in United Ways the United We Lead Gala was supposed to bring in 250,000. It brought in 142,000. So again, I cannot stress the importance of adult generated funding. We also cut our expenses this past year of $145,000. So again, 
Our deficit this year was $740,000. Our national convention, our national convention will be held in Orlando, Florida this year. And it will be held October the 20, let's get my glasses, 21st through the 25th in Orlando, Florida. You, the registration is open now. You are certainly welcome to register for the National Convention right now. You can register online at girlscouts.org. I've had two questions that uh, was um, sent in to us that I'd like to read those questions and answer them at this point. The question number one says, uh, where are we? Where are we at with the properties, especially Camp Wasatoga? As I stated earlier, the board, after doing the work of the Long Range Property Committee and, and, and the property group, um, the girls have stressed what they are looking for. The board is evaluating all of these properties, not just Camp Wasatoga, but all of our properties and they will be making a decision um, just like they made a decision about the Mount Vernon office. They'll be making decisions about the, our other properties that we have. And so as soon as the board make those decisions, I will be letting you know what those decisions were. The second question, with the closure of the Mount Vernon office, what is your plan to help those who are located far away from Glen Carbon? Again, as I stated before, nothing is gonna change. The volunteers should not feel any change. The girl should not feel any change. We will continue to provide you that support that we always have, and we will provide you the resources that you need in order to do whatever you need to do with your girls and for your service unit. So at this time, we um, will be entertaining, what is it, Jess, questions at this time? Mm -hmm. So if you have a question, please raise your hand and we will unmute you. Oh, let me go ahead and stop mm -hmm. the recording. Thank you. 